Hello, Lilas. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Guys, I am here with baby Luca, and I'm going to give him a bottle. I got his bottle ready, me and so bottle. And um, for those that may be new to this channel, guys, Luca is the Lillian Bree Phil Sculpt, um, and he is painted by me and will soon be rooted by me as well. He's a little work in progress, but I'm enjoying him in between time, as I mentioned plenty of times before. Um, so this video probably will be kind of like just a random, just all over the place type chat. Um, just um, one of the things I was I was thinking about um, how I was so like excited about Prototype Aspen and Abby by Claire Teller. And I was showing Aspen so much because um, Abby was um, out to the rooter. Because for some of you guys that may not know, I don't tend to root my own vinyl. But I will root my own silicone. Um, so I was just like really um, enjoying... Aspen and I was just really excited about the new babies and it's kind of like that then he came and it's kind of like You know just taking all the photos of him and That's what kind of happens. We get so um, Caught up in the new baby. So it's like almost like you forget about the other babies and this is like oh my god This is this 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 you know, you're trying a different outfits. You want to see what looks good on them and stuff like this so you get really excited I think most collectors and I'm speaking mostly for myself and what I've observed from different friends and stuff I think we do the most this in the first couple weeks when we get a baby I think we change them more than we normally do it starts to slow down a little bit after that and I think we get judged so harshly like oh my god all they do is change those babies all the time da, 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 da. It is art you're doing too much and you know all this stuff and but at the same time um, um I don't think that you know a lot of people kind of keep going with that and some of us do we change our babies at least once a day for they you know outfit of the day picture and stuff like that and I don't see anything wrong with it I mean like I said I'll say it a million times I don't care who disagree with me and even though I'm painting now and selling babies and I'm quite sure there will be a mommy that will probably overdo it with their babies or something might come up but I'm gonna say you pay so much money for these babies you might as well enjoy them I mean, there are some things that I just wouldn't ever really do with my babies um, because of, you know, I don't want to, like, damage them. Like, you know, with my babies, like, they have drinking wet, I would never give them real formula or anything like that. Um, for me, that's one of the things that, like, I consider, like, okay, that's, you know, really, you know, not caring about uh the um longevity of the doll um but not judging those who do because again it's your doll it's your money and how you see fit to enjoy it that's on you but um yeah so i i just you know we do the most in the beginning but then it kind of calms down so right now you probably be like oh my god is she gonna show him like every day if you go on my instagram you'll see like a hundred pictures of him, then a hundred pictures of Aspen. You know, when Phoebe was, a, you know, new, it was Phoebe, Phoebe, Phoebe. Some babies I pull off real quick because I just, you know, want to keep them to myself. But um, a lot of times it's like that oversharing moment, you know. Um, but I really, really... I really, really get excited when it's a baby that I actually really, really love. Like, um, but I think a lot of times we we have to um, learn to sorry 
learn to uh, take the time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oof, you're about to show my mom. My lupus. Um, we got to really take the time to pick babies that we we actually like. You know, take your time with choosing the right sculpt and the right, you know, mix. If you, you know, if you really want a silicone, then don't buy a whole bunch of reborns. If you really want a really high-end reborn, then don't buy a lot of in-betweeners. It's easy to say and hard to do, but you really have to concentrate on that stuff. Um, or you'll just end up always feeling very um, unsatisfied or never content. And when I say content, I say that lightly because content is just happy with what you have, but if something else come along that you like, you may or may buy it. What I learned is when I'm very content with my collection, I'm not as anxious. I'm not, you know, eager to just hurry up and, you know, buy something just because I like it in that moment. Um, but when my, my collection is like unstable, <laughs> like I have a bunch of babies that I'm kind of like, eh, like kind of just lukewarm about, um, I will buy, like, I'll make very irrational purchases versus when I have babies in my collection that I really, really love. It's like, well, if I, you know, if I don't act quick enough and I miss it, I'm okay. Because I, I got babies that I already love, so it's not like I'm, you know, dying to get another baby. Um, and the other thing is, you know, shopping, you know, name brands. Um... And I say name brands, you know, in the doll industry, it's a lot different than, you know, going to Apple, Nike, you know, Doshi and Gabbana, um, whatever else name, it, Coach, Louis Vuitton, whatever. It's a little different. We, we, what we consider name brand is our own personal preference. And I think, um, I, I think that we... You know, sometimes some people and, you know, like I said, I'm not judging. I'm just giving an observation of what I see. I feel like some people want to be validated or fit into certain cliques and groups. So they run and they go and buy a specific artist's work, even if they don't necessarily love it instantly. But because they their friends got one or, you know, they want to be a part of that particular group they run and they get them and then when they get it home they don't really like it as much but they try um that's when you really got to sit back and say is it really worth it you know what you like your friends may not like but it's what pulls you in and you know make your heart flutter when you see it that's the ones that you want to invest in um, I noticed also I've been posting a lot more in different groups and stuff like that. And I've noticed it can be what I consider to be a subpar doll. Um, very basic in realism or, you know, like thereof. But if it's a popular collector or popular artist that posts, um, people tend to like flood it with likes. And you'll have this very beautiful baby and I'm like who is this artist like I don't even know the person don't recognize the name but the work stands out on the baby and they'll have like three likes and I'm like what the hell like why nobody's liking her stuff you know or the collector that comes in that's new that don't know anybody in the group post the baby everybody kind of just look at a hand uh I don't know what they're thinking in their heads if they're like oh this is cute I don't know I ain't clicking like or, or what, but it'll just get overlooked. You can't base your purchases off of likes, hearts, and, you know, validation and popularity. You really, when you're spending this kind of money, need to base your purchases off of how you feel about it and go with it. Um, you gotta, and if you love to share and it makes you feel good, don't stop posting your babies and sharing your babies because people are not 
responding to them the way that you think they should. Um, so yeah, so, um, I've just, you know, that's, I don't know, like I said, the video will probably be pretty random, but yeah, I've just, I've just noticed, you know, a lot of, a lot of that goes on, but also I noticed with myself, like, I'm like, oh my gosh, you know, I, I remember one, one time at one time, um, I was buying all these babies and I was getting a new baby every day. I got a new baby every day of the week for about um, seven or eight days straight one time. Um, and, I, and I remember that because that was like crazy. They all started coming in at the same time. And I remember like never being able to connect with all of them because it was just too much at one time. I never enjoyed what I had, seeing if I really liked this one before I bought the next one. So it was just, it was too much. So I, I vowed to never do that again. Um, and now here recently, I have been getting like kits and stuff kind of close together. The good part about it is that I can't necessarily bring them to life yet because I have work ahead of them. And so it's been keeping me very disciplined. Um, with Finn, you know, I didn't, you know, announce it. And I'm, I'm getting better at that. It's like not, I don't want to lay out a map of every inch of my life for <laughs> YouTube and social media. So, you know, I dabble a little bit a day, maybe a little bit every other week or something or whatever until I finally got a baby but you know I have so much on my plate I don't really I don't have the time and I'm, I'm kind of glad in a way because if I painted every baby all at once I would not be able to enjoy it. like if I had him and Louisa at the same time it would just be probably overwhelming um I need to get some of the newness off of him even though he's not totally complete by the time he, you know, then when he gets his hair, I'll be like able to, um, like, I don't know, like it'll be a new fresh feel again. So yeah, you, I, I, that's just my advice. If you're new and you're, you know, you're wondering why you never find in the right one, sometimes we go too fast. Um, and don't get me wrong. I mean, it's fun and the excitement. It gets the rush. It just, it gets exciting. But when you start realizing that you're collecting babies that you don't love and you start losing 300 here, 500 there, you know, a thousand here, a hundred here, 200 there, you realize that you've basically thrown away like two, three thousand dollars and could have really had a dream baby. That's the part that, you know, that got to me is that, you know, when I got ready to resell it because it was an impulse buy, I just kept seeing money getting lost, you know, to a certain extent. I'll be honest, though, I've not really lost a lot of money on dolls over the years, but I've lost I've lost enough to be a lot more cautious. Um, but I, I haven't like lost as much as some people. Um, and I think it's because I'm a little bit careful on what I purchase, even when I'm doing impulsive buys. But I think the worst purchase I ever made in my collecting history to date um, would have been the baby that I got from Tory Dolls. Um, that doll was so hard to sell. I had to go in and paint on it a little bit to get it to sell. And... I still like lost money. <laughs> I think I'm trying to think. Yeah, I still lost money. So, you know, I had to put in time. I had to put in, you know, in and in and, and materials and and I still lost money. I I lost money not just on my time, but even what I paid for it. So it was just a bad bad buy. 
And the baby was nice, but you know, not against the artist or anything, but it was the worst purchase I made. And it was an impulsive buy. I bought that baby and what else baby in between buying another baby. I don't know, but I, I bought a whole bunch of babies and it was just not good. Same with all these kits. I got all these kits sitting in here that I've just bought just because, oh, I seen one real cute that somebody else painted and I said, I want to paint that kit and I bought it and now I have all these kits sitting here that I don't know what I'm going to paint and I was, me and my mom was in here looking at them and was talking about it and, you know, I probably got about three, four thousand dollars in just blank vinyl kits sitting. It's ridiculous. And so I'm just, I got to find that happy balance where I'm not overdoing it. And, it, I, and I bought a lot of kids because I was like, okay, I'm going to just paint and sell. But then I got caught up with the custom thing. And then that kind of stopped me from being able to do any other work. Like I've doing customs literally um slow down the amount of babies that I would paint by probably five times as I probably would have done five times as many babies as if I hadn't been doing customs and not nothing against all my customs I love my mommies out there and I'm enjoying them but I'm just talking the truth is is that so when you see people like selling babies in between customs like people I remember when I was collecting from other artists and I would have a custom and then they would paint a baby and my baby would be still waiting and they would put the baby up for sale and I'm like well damn why are they painting babies and you know and my baby still sitting here and I know they just got that kit but it was because they had to survive because they get that money for the custom so okay I paid them $800 for the custom in December so they had their December bills their January bills their February bills here it is February they're still working on my baby because they got to be very particular about how they get it and get it very specific to my liking so they're taking a lot longer time because they're got to double think their process instead of just painting whatever and putting it out so now, because they're working on that, they're not making any money during that time. $800 is not going to pay bills, you know, across that way. So, they'll paint a baby that will take them, you know, like, less, way less time. Like, say, for instance, it takes them six weeks to complete a custom it may take them a week and a half to complete a baby that's just for themselves if that makes sense and so they'll do that so that they can have some passive income while they're working on these orders i didn't understand that but i kind of understand it now but even so it still feels kind of froggy right and i know like, I know some people will see when I get a baby up, they probably be like, oh my gosh, she's paying a baby. But that's why I allotted a lot of time, you know, in between when I told people I would be able to paint. However, I'm impulsive. And so I was like, you know, just send them. I'll work them in as I go. So, I, you know, I've been painting on the babies, even though I'm like, originally, like, I probably won't be able to work on this baby to like, March or April, you know, or May, but you know, I started working on them bef before then and stuff like that. But nevertheless, you know, my customers are important. I know what it feels like to be a mommy waiting. I, for me, I honestly feel like the biggest part for me with customs is I really be wanting to see what it looked like. I can wait and deal with the hair thing, but the painting part would be like, I need to. to to, to see that to exhale that's why I don't I don't do many customs I really don't do many customs because it is nerve-wracking um I mean I'm talking about me as buying customs um but I have some of the people that I work with 
I'll be honest with you, I would probably work with them again somewhere down the road, but never all at once like I did before, like this time. But it's been really nice too because I'm able to see babies that I normally wouldn't have purchased or painted. And so it's, you know, it's nice. I've had challenges and, you know, you know, it's just, you know, it's a lot. It's a lot that you get from doing customs. It's a lot of benefits to customs too. You know, we complain about, you know, oh, customers are hard to work with, da, 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 da. And it's not, for me, the customers, most of the customers that I work with has not been the hardest part. The hardest part is myself. I'm too much for myself. So, yeah. But anyway, um, so I'm, you know, I'm just enjoying the hobby on all different ends and, and different ways. So I wanted to go into I just thought about what I wanted to talk about as far as purpose goes um, for my channel, for my collection. But I didn't really get into that. So if you want to see that um, video, I will um, make a second video and I will upload it. If you guys let me know if you guys are interested in, you know, more just open chats and stuff. I want to get into more like, you know, changing my babies and doing the things that I used to love doing on video. Um, but I don't want to change him out this outfit right now. So you guys are kind of like seeing him in the same outfit over and over and over again. And I'm sorry for that, but I just don't want to change him right now. I really like him in this blue. And so that's that.